Hey, one of my students came in the other day wanting to learn this pretty cool tune. I'd never really heard it. She said it was by Cheap Trick, but she'd run into a version uh, on YouTube, as a matter of fact, of Paul Dempsey, singer from the Australian band Something for Kate, doing it in a radio station. And that's what really sold her on the song, because she said she could sing along with it in the key he was playing it in, and it never uh, really impressed her as much as a, as a Cheap Trick song. So I want to take a, a quick look at this. Um, it's a really easy strumming song with some really interesting chords. So um, all you got to do, grab your guitar, we'll learn to play some easy chords, Ds, Gs, B minor, got to get through a B minor chord, and then a couple of kind of unusual ones. We hear some descending bass stuff in there. So. Uh, let's take a quick look at the at the left hand. What's going to happen in there, and then we'll talk about how to how to strum through it. But uh, here we go with a little look at "If You Want My Love, You Got It." So the chords we need for "If You Want My Love, You Got It," and again we're looking at Paul Dempsey's version from uh, something for Kate that, that uh, matches up kind of with the YouTube video of him playing it in the radio station. So he starts strumming on a D suspended four chord and resolves it to D. Okay, all these again are, we've got this in the tablature with, with pictures of these chords. D suspended 4 to D, happens a couple times, and then we have a lot of normal chords, especially in the chorus. D, G, played with 2nd, 3rd, and 4th fingers. B minor, bar at the 2nd, shaped like A minor. E, back to G, and then A, and on the A chord again, fingering I like for A, first finger in the middle of the other two. First finger on the 3rd string, 2nd and 3rd fingers on the 4th and 2nd strings. I know, confusing. Then D suspended 4 and D again. Now in the verse we have D minor and really useful way to play D minor in most cases is with your first, second and fourth fingers, not your third. This is not the fingering I prefer for D minor unless you're having to get C sharp in the bass. We're not going there on, in this song. But in this song we have to get C in the bass coming up. So we play the D minor with your first, second and fourth fingers, then your second and third fingers go to where they uh, would be on a C chord. So this is a little bit of a hybrid chord. It's mostly a C because it has C, E, and G. Then it also has D and F in it. That would be the 9th and the 11th, but it has no 7th in it. So it's again, its real name is C add 9 add 11. But I'm going to, in the ta in the music, just shorten it to C 11. So there you have the chords. Now I'll start just working through the chart that's, uh, that's attached to the video here. D suspended 4 in the beginning, and it starts off kind of mellow. Then it kind of kicks in with the verse going into a heavier strumming pattern that one of the simplest ways to do is to just be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you're following the chart, again, what we have in the beginning is D to G to B minor to E. The second line is G, A, and then the D suspended 4 again to D. Now the chorus usually happens twice, um, so he's, he's singing that, if you want my love, you got it. I'm not going there, it's way out of my range. So. Um, then we get into the verse, which is kind of interesting now too, because it changes modes. We've been all this thing's been revolving around D. Now it goes to D minor. Really important to play this D minor the way we looked at in the left hand close up with your first, second, and fourth fingers. 